everybody, it's Katie. Today is 130 of the Happy Home Paradise Nico Challenge. For more information about custom patterns I use, social media links, or details on the Nico Challenge, check out the description below. I started off today's challenge with Boomer, who asked for a classic coffee cafe, and then he had the old sewing machine and the muse and the, the what? Boomer, I, no, I can't, I was so confused. I actually paused for a minute then to think about what to do with his build and decided I was going to pull in another villager. I had a little bit of an idea, so I dropped him in place and called up Peanut with an amiibo card. Peanut's theme that she asks for is an American themed museum and she has the diner sign which is a little bit odd but then a cherry pie and I just thought you know what I'm going to put these two oddballs together. For this theme today we are going to be creating an American frontier museum restaurant instead of the coffee shop because I think it'd be much more likely to be a themed restaurant. Really cool themes for restaurants are actually a pretty normal thing and I've seen a lot of restaurants that have almost entire museums in them because they have so many beautiful and fun things to look at. I decided to make this particular build into one of those. So if you were going to go to this restaurant, you would be able to take part in lots of really yummy, comforting, warm, wholesome American food and enjoy a really fun display of old time American stuff. For this build, I'm imagining that Pina is probably the restaurant owner. She's the one with the original vision to put together a really cool restaurant, and she was able to talk Boomer into helping her fund the process. As an investor, Boomer, of course, spends most of his time here and eats almost all of his meals here as he is a retired pilot and really enjoys this style of food, but Peanut waits on the people and really does all the management. In the end, I think that both of them are really happy with the way that this particular dream came together. It's just what they wanted, and I do think it's successful. They've assembled a lot of really unique and fun things to look at, and the environment is inviting and warm and wholesome, and they have some really good people making amazing food. So it's a very busy restaurant all the time. In fact, I think it's one of the busier restaurants in the entire HHP universe that I'm creating. So instead of making a kitchen, I made one big, huge dining room. My goal ended up being to create a rustic, very traditional style museum that was actually very modern and put together with all of those traditional flares. And I think it, I don't know, I think it came together. I was so concerned about Boomer's theme when it started and didn't really know what I wanted to do with Peanut's theme either. And in the end, I really like the way that this build came together. It's one of my more favorite HHP builds that I've done so far. Finishing up in here for the inside of the restaurant, I changed up some lighting, added some food, and now it's time to check out the final build.
decided to save this particular restaurant to nighttime and it was just barely dusk because I really feel like the busiest hour would be over dinner time when a lot of people come to enjoy the food. I also imagine that it's summer and warm and that anybody waiting for a chair could just hang out and sit on the beautiful deck in front of the house. At this point in the challenge, I have completed day 130 and we have 132 villagers who are all finished, but I only have 235 more days to go to complete this challenge, so I'm gonna have to pick up the pace a little bit. If you're looking to watch more of these builds, we do stream over on Twitch pretty frequently and you can catch some more HHP building over there. I hope you found something useful here and continue creating in this game. Until next time, have the best Animal Crossing day.